to Crypto Lightsaber back with another video, guys. We are going to do an update on Splashive Network. Been getting a lot of comments asking for updates on this, so here we go. We are also going to talk about Piston Token, which seems to have bounced back. Uh, chart is looking pretty decent. We'll take a look at that. We're also going to talk about my Diamond team, um, which I'm bullish on, and also Gale Network 1.2% a day certificate of deposit uh, auctions are taking place we'll take a look at that as well so stay tuned throughout the video we will start with splashing okay so let's just switch the network um as i said been getting a lot of uh requests to talk about splashive haven't spoken about it in like a week and a half maybe okay so um there are some pretty decent updates that we can see on splashive um starting with this uh uh, uh, swap exchange okay so you can now do all of your swapping and um, you, you know you can you, you can buy your wave token on this website now which is good okay rather than going over to pangolin that is a little nice touch on this network you can also uh, sell your splash tokens and stuff now so remember when you are selling some splash you're going to need to go to settings and change your slippage to 12% in order for your transactions to go through as opposed to when when before you literally just press approve press sell and it does that automatically and um, you need to update your settings okay on their interface in order to do that but you know um, as you can see you got all, all different tokens you know you got stable coins and everything so that is a nice touch to do on there everything in one place a lot of people will be happy with that uh, the chart disappeared for a couple of days and now it is back um, as you can see Right, the price is six dollars and seventy four cents at the moment. Now, what's going on? So, when this relaunched, okay, unfortunately, you have a lot of people that are still, or, or were at the time, still a little bit apprehensive. You know, after the original exploit, um, you know, it just lost. You know, some people's trust. Um, a lot of people had rewards to claim. They took those rewards. They sold. Maybe people are selling a little bit more than what they're compounding at the moment, but. With the splash pads being launched now, okay, you've got the splash pads. If you haven't seen my previous videos on splash, if I talked about this, um, the splash pads is a, uh, let's just go on how it works. So splash pads is a, uh, it's sort of like your uh, drip garden, okay? It pays up to 3% a day. So it's 1% a day for the first week, 2% a day for the second week, and 3% a day for the third week, as long as you hold throughout those weeks well each time you claim it goes back to one percent so go and check that out okay now um since they launched these splash pads okay the price seems to have had a little bit of a bump uh, to the upside um of course this adds a little bit of stability having the usdt stable coin liquidity pairs okay it's usdte obviously because it's on avax um but yeah that has bang a little bit of a bullish turn for the price action went down to about four dollars uh four dollars looks like about i'm sure it went lower than that i saw it at about four dollars and 15 cents but since the other day uh we've had a pump okay will it start to come back down again we don't know but um there are bullish reasons to get into this and obviously splash pads up to three percent a day a lot of people want to take advantage of that splash pays out two percent a day okay so bearing in mind, when you get into the splash pads, it's going to start you off at 1% a day just for the first week. But the longer that you hold, the more gains that you're going to make if you're willing to hold on to your your earnings. Okay, guys, so um, at delay your gratification before claiming. So a lot of potential for you to make a nice little penny on that. Um, of course, they haven't launched a game yet. But from the footage that I saw of the game, when the game comes, that will be pretty bullish so there's a play to earn aspect um you know for those of you that are avid gamers um obviously that could be a good touch for you as well so you know as long as they keep developing and um, keep innovating keep the community updated i don't see why you know a lot of the influencers that were talking about it before won't start i don't see why they won't start talking about it again at the end of the day but just unfortunately when you have an exploit it has a little bit of negative sentiment it takes time for these things to prove themselves to come back again um moving on to piston so a similar kind of thing am i holding piston token i am holding some of the token okay i haven't gone into the race um the reason being 
is that uh, when the token launched, okay, when the token launched, it had a bit of a messed up launch, okay? They had bots, they paused the contract and all that sort of stuff, okay? But then after that, people started to sell, okay? However, um, these guys, I've been keeping an eye on them, and these guys have been doing some promotion, okay? And it's not your usual circle of influencers that, or my usual circle of influencers that talk about these, you know, certificate of deposit contracts. So what I've been seeing is a lot of different influencers that normally talk about nodes and that sort of stuff. They've been talking about this thing since the other day. This has pumped about 100 plus percent, okay? About 111 percent. So we've had a little bullish reversal. So it's now in an uptrend. Will it continue in an uptrend? There's potential for that. So I am holding this token. Um, will I go into the race? Okay, this is 1% a day, up to 365%, similar to drip and so on. Um, I may potentially go into the race and uh, to, to earn the 1% a day. Yeah, if, if I make gains on this, of course, there's the opportunity to potentially, you know, maybe sell half of my bag, you know, um, and then put half into the, uh, the race or the faucet or whatever you want to call it and earn 1% a day. Now, if this doesn't pump, there's still opportunity for you to make those gains. 1% a day up to 365%, right? Um, if it just remains stable, okay? So the price has come up from here. Um, it doesn't look like there's any form of sell-off happening at the minute. Um, I don't see why this doesn't continue to rise. And, you know, more people don't continue to talk about it. Um, and one of the things that has instilled my confidence in this platform if we go back to my diamond team, I spoke about this the other day. This is their other project. So Piston Race, my diamond team, same developers. However, Piston Race has its own native token, which came after. So um, you're investing in the Piston token, uh, or PSTN, which will be the uh, token symbol. Uh, with my diamond team, it's BNB. So it's BNB in, BNB out, okay? And... Um, you know, for those of you that are investing in miners for 8% a day and stuff, with the fluctuations and all that stuff, they're very high risk. With this one, this is paying out 1.5% a day, right? And, um, yeah, obviously, BNB is a less volatile asset. BNB is going to start coming down, potentially, if we are in a bear market, which a lot of people believe that we are, okay? Uh, but you can put your BNB to work and earn... <laughs> Sorry, and earn more BNB, 1.5% uh, a day, up to 365%. So, um, you know, this, for me, is a pretty good platform, okay? Um, one of the reasons why I think that, uh, why I'm, I feel safe in investing in this, and um, bearing in mind, I'm only at 5.8 BNB, my max payout is 20.6 BNB. I'm going to be getting this up to the max deposit per wallet, which is 25 BNB. Obviously, do your own research. Make sure you read the small print because it does say it somewhere down here. Minimum deposit to join is 0.1 BNB. Maximum of 25 BNB total deposit per wallet as an anti-well measure. So I will be getting this wallet at least up to a max 25 deposit, uh, 25 BNB deposit. So I can maximize my potential in this wallet on this platform. Okay, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, I have been compounding. I mean, but I've been adding little bits of BNB here and there just from other projects. Or if I've got a little bit of BNB lying around in my wallet, I normally just come and just top this up. Okay, as you can see, I've only ever withdrawn $239 uh, or 0 0.6 BNB. So this just keeps uh, increasing. Uh, with that being said, um, going back to what I was saying about um, why I'm a little bit confident about the team. Um, because they've just proven themselves at this point, okay? Now, my Diamond Team version 1 had the exploit. I was a little bit apprehensive of getting into version 2, so it took me a while, okay? But what they've done is they've allowed people to claim their tokens back, or, the, you know, the, uh, at least up until ROI. If you didn't ROI, you can claim your tokens on my Diamond Team version 1. I did a, uh, a video on that a little while ago, but if you go to my Diamond Team version 1 and you were in that, you can claim, um, let's have a look, um, am I on, I'm on the wrong network, let's just change uh, network, um, let's change, right, so now we're on the Binance Smart Chain, you can see 
that um, you know you can receive you can press this claim button and you can claim uh, BNB up to you know a return on your real deposits okay and um, that is a complete restoration of whatever you put in there uh, but yeah going back to uh, version 2 uh, the fact that they did that you know they could have just called it quits closed down version 1 carried on with version 2 by that time people had forgotten about what had happened with version 1 but it just shows honesty and integrity okay and then of course launching the piston race platform they did their best to stop bots and stuff like that and they had a few hiccups and they had a little bit of a sell-off but it's clearly been coming back and they've been spending the money on marketing so i really like the fact that you know these guys don't just give up they keep going and you can invest in a team that does that so overall i am bullish on piston race and i'm bullish on my diamond team um you can make your rewards uh, in piston you can also make your rewards in bnb choose your token uh, or coin should i say and yeah so moving on to gale network so gale network is the newest out of these certificate deposit platform you might have seen my previous videos on this this one is similar to rex okay you can see auction day four is almost over two minutes left okay you can go into the auctions and you can obviously buy tokens and um, you can also go on uh, and buy them on uh, you know poo coin if we get the chart up uh, you can buy them on pancake swap poo coin or bugged finance wherever you want to buy it okay guys and i noticed that the price of this had a dip but it has been recovering people are taking advantage of the dip okay guys so as you can see um it had a sell-off okay but since then people are buying it back up so will this recover um i think it will there's a lot of potential for it Okay, guys, they've got liquidity, market cap's just under a million. Can this go to 10 million? You let me know what you think in the comments. Does this have potential? But I really like the look and feel of the project. Um, the devs seem pretty decent as well. It's worth putting something small in and taking a risk on, in my opinion, because if it does obviously, you know, grow into something big, you know, you're going to make, you're going you're gonna to be an early investor. Okay, look at the chart. It's super early. Uh, only a couple of days old let's just zoom let's just uh zoom out a little bit we're on the one hour let's go on the 15 minute obviously this is a super early chart but it's starting to come back all right guys um i like the project personally i've made it no uh secret and um i am uh promoting this project obviously i bought one of their nfts so i can get referrals and uh, you can take advantage of those i already explained in a previous video uh, with the NFTs, it also enters you into these lottery draws. It gives you launch pad tickets as well, and it also gives you guaranteed slots in their launch pads, and uh, and so on. All right, guys. So obviously you can take advantage of those NFTs. They're pretty cheap. Okay, so um, yeah, um, you have the windmill. This is where you do your compounding and your claiming, and so on. As you can see, I have seven hundred twenty-nine thousand tokens. Max payout three point one nine six million. And um, I've got a few referral rewards as well, 6,974 tokens, not much, but it's something, you know, I'll take it, thank you very much. Um, and yeah, I think this could be a potential decent project, seen a few videos coming out about it, um, not many, but I'm sure more will come along the way. Sometimes it's just about finding something early, you know, uh, Rex was out for a long time before it actually got the attention that it deserved. Rex is actually coming um, the beginning of May as well, so stay tuned for Rex videos. Um, this one is also going to be launching on Kronos. Um, of course, it's only on the Binance Smart Chain at the moment. But I think this is not one to sleep on, guys. The developers seem pretty trustworthy. They're doing AMAs and so on. Um, obviously, go and join the Telegram group. The link will be in the description. As you can see, the auction is now over. So the next one is starting for day five. It's 180 days worth of auction. Um, so yeah, of course, there's going to be a mint function there to, to mint new tokens for people wondering. That is in the audit. And um, yeah, I think this could be a potentially good project. Um, could be a good place to start buying as well, not financial advice. Whether you buy it on the auction or you buy it on the open market, um, I know a lot of people got cheap tokens on auction because not many people went into the auction because it's pretty new. And that's why we got this sell-off, okay? It happens, 
okay but those that take advantage they deserve uh, th those that get in early and take a risk they deserve a little bit of reward so people got a lot of tokens for their uh, you know in the auction what i'm hearing and you know some people decided to you know take profits on those tokens you can't blame them for doing that you know anyone would do the same but right now um, what they've done is they've done claim to stake now so if you buy an auction it is now claim to stake so now we're starting to see the price starting to go back up again it just alleviates that sell pressure okay guys so that is gale network all right guys splassive let me know what you think in the comments bullish or bearish piston token let me know what you think in the comments bullish or bearish my diamond team bnb in bnb out are we in a bull market or a bear market let me know in the comments Gale Network, bullish or bearish, let me know in the comments, guys. That being said, it's the end of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. Uh, I will see you guys in the very next video.